Hi, Dominic. How are you? I'm I'm pretty good. It's been a, it's been a good <laughs> couple of days. Yeah. Very exciting. So what I was going to do is, and I might put this sounded down even more just so we can hear you, because that's the important part. Let's face it. Um, and can you hear a bit of the 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 music and stuff? Can you, or, but, well, I suppose that doesn't really, as long as you can see, you can see the screen and you can yeah. hear me. Yeah. I think that's the main thing. So there you are on screen. Look, there you are. Well, I feel like I haven't heard myself already. So. <laughs> um, just uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll play a little bit of the game, but I did want to start by just saying, uh, congrats. It's out. I've enjoyed Thank it you. a lot so far. What, what are your thoughts on it all? What's it been like finally I seeing it released? You know, it's it's funny because like people have been asking me this week, is it still at all interesting for me to play since I worked on it all then? It's like, oh yeah, it is. You have no idea. I mean, even even for this one, um, you know, I did my. Uh, this was the first time I've actually gotten to play the game before uh, recording. I mean, for all the other Monkey Island games, it had always been, you know, maybe I could see a few screenshots. You know, they'd tell me about the story, but it's not. Uh, you know, the game's still in development when when we're recording. So this was a, this was a very unusual situation. And, uh, and, and Ron actually had, it was, it was far from complete, but it was a, a fully playable build start to finish, um, back in March. So that's what I played. Um, but there was no voice in it at all. Um, you know, there were tons of placeholders, uh, you know, the, the basic artwork was there, but you know, all the bells and whistles hadn't been added yet. Um, there's more I'm, I'm forgetting, but, you know, I mean, basically all of the, you know, all the spit and polish, none of that was there. And even a lot of the scenes, um, particularly like the animations and the close ups and all that were just, you know, little animatic sketches, essentially. Um, so so really, I mean, I've got the plot, but aside from that, it's still mostly new to me um, and it's it's gorgeous. I mean, honestly, the, the, the difference is is even um, greater than I expected. Uh, you know, in that, uh, whatever it is, five, five months in between, uh, uh, close enough, something like that. Yeah. So, so it's, it's even still blown me away now having, having seen it five or six months ago. So, uh, how, so it's, how it's, much it's, have you managed to play? Good. You're probably past me now. So I'm, I'm still on part one. I'm pretty early on as you can probably uh, see. No, actually, I don't think I am. I don't think I am past you or I'm maybe right about where you are. I'm not sure how many of the side questy stuff you've done so far uh but no no i i am really taking my time um okay. the, the the first plus also you know launch day and to a lesser extent yesterday it's like you know the game's gonna be there yeah um that's true but, you know launch launch day online <laughs> only only comes once so so i've been kind of trying to focus on that and enjoy that and you know and chat with people and all that because i because it's it's fun and i love it um and uh, i figure you know the game's gonna be there and i'm happy to let everybody else kind of kind of sprint ahead and I'll, I'll pull up the rear. I can still talk about it and we're still doing, you know, deep spoilery discussions on a couple of different uh, chat sites. So, so yeah. I, I can still get that out of my system. I was going to say, yeah, we, we'll try and keep it like fairly spoiler free for this many because I haven't oh, played yeah. it, played well, it uh, through. Yeah. I'm, I'm <laughs> capping it right where, wherever you are. That's, yeah, yeah. As far as, cool. uh, that's as far as I'm going to comment. <laughs> But I mean, I mean, just looking at this here and going back to Melee Island it is kind of a, a cool concept, but also everything's out of business, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> You know, Melee has, has seen better times. Yeah. It's seen better times. It's uh, a little rough around the edges these days, but you know, that's that's one of the kind of one of the big themes of the whole of the whole game. I you know, it was really that was one of the things that struck me the most when I did that playthrough in March is is you know, this is uh, in not a small way, you know, an allegory for Ron and Dave. I think you know, it's, okay. it's a little more, Let's you know, it's a little autobiographical, I'm sure, and, and and a little bit for for me too, although not not intentionally because I'm not doing the writing, but you know, there's. Uh, there, there's a lot in there that you're like, ooh, ooh, yeah, that, that, that hits right there. So, so uh, it, it carries a little extra meaning, I think. Well, one thing I have to before I, I'll, I'll play this cutscene because uh, I didn't realize it was going to go into a cutscene there, but um, I suppose that that's kind of what the way of Monkey Island it just pops into cutscenes when you when you start going into random places. But um, yep. uh, someone's mentioned in the chat about the writer's cut, which I didn't know was going to be a thing, and and that's what I'm playing at the moment. Um, oh, you are okay. All right. Yeah, I've got. It. I mean, I was like, I'm going to go all in. I'm playing on hard mode. Yeah. I'm playing the writer's cut. <laughs> so I'm not going to be finished with this game for years, I think. <laughs> yeah, I only learned about the Writer's Cup a couple weeks ago um, when I was in Seattle for PAX and, and hanging out with the crew a little bit. Um, and they told me about it then. And of course, then, of course, the thing is like, oh, 
crap, which one do I play first? Uh, so I, yeah. was, I, think I was talking to Dave about it and kind of going back and forth. And he was like, well, he was like, you know, the writer's cut has more, but we felt that the timing was a little better without, you know, with those cuts made. And I kind of like, I finally came down to sort of like, you know, the aliens director's cut thing for me, where it's like, I love seeing that director's cut. I love seeing all the extra stuff, but also it's like, okay, I understand these were good cuts. It made for better pacing and all that kind yeah. of stuff. So I figured I'll do the, I'll do the original first. And then that's what play, that's what, that's what second playthroughs are for. Right. You know, yeah. come back and, and get the extras in the director's cut and, uh, and, and I'll need to play this more than a few times. Also, it's, uh, it gets, uh, it's a nice densely layered pastry as you get deeper into it. So, <laughs> and it's uh, it's a it's a it's a vichyssoise soup, if you will. So oh, absolutely. With with, with an yes. occasional rat uh, swimming in it. Yeah, <laughs> well, you know, it wouldn't be wouldn't be Monkey Island without. It. <laughs> uh, let's just I'll play this cut scene and then because a couple yeah, of people on. didn't realize that there was a writer's cut which because it's kind of hidden away um but let no, me... I didn't even notice it yeah. at first I didn't know <laughs> if it popped up after you beat it the first time or if it's there from the start so it is yeah it's just underneath I think someone said text and dialogue in the options yeah um, oh, okay and I just happened because I went in there to like look at all the subtitles. But anyway, let me just put, and we've got LeChuck here. Been and let you know, okay. preparations to set sail are almost done. You have all the supplies for the spell to get to Monkey Island? Check. Squid ink, chickens, brimstone, cinnamon, <laughs> monkey blood, mint, and an annoying skull. Well done. Mark yourself down for one less lashing this voyage. <clears throat> A funny story. Guybrush Threepwood tried to sign on to the crew. Who? Threepwood? He must be looking for the secret too. Ooh, the guy steals all my best ideas. I love, by the way, can I just say, I love that there's, like, it seems to be at the beginning of this that, like, these, LeChuck and Guybrush obviously, like, hate each other and they're, they've got, like, this real uh, sort of hatred for each other, but everyone else in the island, like, couldn't care less and they're just like, you know, God, you stop going on about that. Part. <laughs> they're, the, they're the only two who still care. Yeah. yeah. That's what I love about it. And they're just like, yeah, whatever. Like, we really don't care about the secret monkey on. It's just these two being like, we must find it. <laughs> exactly. Have him killed. Wait, let him live. <laughs> I want him to see me sail off for Monkey Island knowing the secret is lost to him forever. Sure. I want to bring this up one more time. <laughs> Is searching for this mythical secret of Monkey Island a good idea? Shouldn't we be out terrorizing the high seas? They're it's just like, can we, beer, like, do we have to do this? Does this mean anything anymore? On brand for I've had enough <laughs> of you questioning my orders. Oh. Finish loading the ship, and whatever you do, don't let Threepwood on board. Very well. Typical, typical. Um, what? Yeah, one thing I, I know we've kind of said um, no spoilers and stuff, but I thought for the very beginning of the game it would be all right to sort of talk about. And I just kind of wanted to get your reaction to how it all begins because I think it's such a clever way of, you know, so could, brilliant. Yeah. Right. I, I mean, it's it, I, I, that was I, when I. I mean, I had the same reaction that all you did. I'm sure it's like you play through that. You're like, and you're wondering, how are they going to handle this? And, oh, it's supposed to come right up against, you know, the end of, of, of Monkey Island 2. And how, and it's just, I mean, it's like how they took this incredible Gordian knot and somehow managed to tie it into a beautiful little bow that, that nobody saw coming. You know, I mean, it's it, really, it's, it's, it's kind of, I, I was, I mean, I'm floored by it. You know, you heard yeah. that. Who was it? There was some game developer who was saying that, like, like this is something you're going to be talking about when you're, you know, talking about like in classes and for game development for a long, long time. And I it's think like, that you know was what? Noah Falstein. Oh, was, was it Noah Falstein? Who it was? Okay, that's, yeah. I, I remember I saw it. I couldn't remember who it was. There you go. It might have been um, an interview with me. It might have been. <laughs> it probably was. Um, but I mean, <laughs> maybe other go. people said that as well because it is very, yeah. very clever, and it just like ties it together so well. I think. Um, yeah, and, yeah, and even better than that, it, it's it is 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 that it is so. It's so gracious in the way that it just leaves the door wide open for everything else that's happened, you know, um, and, uh, and and both in the beginning and uh, and as you get through the game, it's sort of like, you know what, some of those finer details, maybe they don't really matter so much. But, yeah. You know, there's there's more of that later on. So, 
uh, <laughs> I like this comment in the chat from Renoita. I think it is said, did anyone ever care about poor Guy Brush's hopes and dreams because his first crew made his trip to Monkey Island into a Caribbean retreat trip? <laughs> and that is a fair point, actually. I don't think anyone ever cared that much about his dreams. <laughs> no, that's, you know, that's true. That's true. Um, uh, and, and, and Guybrush also probably deserved it. He, she did something. A little that, bit. Uh, he is a, he is a, yeah. I, I remember I replayed, uh, the second one recently and Guybrush, yeah, does quite a lot of bad things to people in that one. <laughs> he's, he's, a bigger, he's a bigger jerk than you remember usually. Yeah. And, and not, not like in a mean malicious no. way, but yeah. just in a very, he is, he is very absorbed in what he is doing and has yeah. tunnel vision yeah. and perhaps doesn't notice the extent to which he is causing mayhem for everybody around him so you know uh yeah definitely do you have a a favorite character i guess it's difficult because like you said you've played you have played um you you've you've said all the dialogue but in terms of playing it all you, there's probably characters you've not discovered hey, yet baby, is that the case well, well i haven't in, in this game there are i i've i've seen all of them um but yeah. i haven't heard most of them uh, right i've okay. only heard I've only heard most of the ones here on, on Melee so far. I haven't yeah. gotten past that. So, um, um, but uh, I I don't know. It's it's yeah. It's a it's a little early. A little a little early to say. Okay. Okay. But, uh, I was yeah, yeah. I think at the moment I'm a big fan of Wally returning. I, I like yeah. the fact that he's there. Um, obviously, Carl and Otis and Stan. Stan being in jail. Yeah. Unsurprising, yeah. I guess. Yeah, not a, not a big surprise. Yeah. <laughs> or it's the only surprise would be that they got him. I guess. But uh, yeah, no, and Otis is always old. I mean, they're you know they're all great. It's just <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, the the voice. You know, it's so funny because like sometimes when you know you work on a project like this, it's like you know just from a from a creative standpoint, you start to get greedy and you're like, oh, I want to do this character and I want to do this character, I want to do this character, and then it comes out and you're like, okay, yeah, they made the right choice. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know? so. Like with yourself. Well, I, I, I hope so. I, 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 I think there are, I think there are probably other people out there who could have done a fine guy brush, but uh, you know, I beat him to it. So, um, in terms of, uh, you know, this was a big thing before it all came out. I mean, we're looking at it now. The art style, um, you, you sort of mentioned it a little bit that you know they've they've improved it. What what kind of have they just made it more detailed, or you said it, it looks even nicer it's, than it did yeah, before? Definitely the the big. I mean, from and again, I'm going off of memory. Um, but the big differences in the lighting, um, a lot more detail, a lot more animation. You know, I think that I think for for this art, I think the animation is so key because I think it um, it, it it really it, 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 screenshots do not do this justice in any way, you know, because it needs that motion and it needs that flow. And I think it's designed that way. You know, it's designed with that in mind. So. So, um, you know, the version that I saw was much lighter on the animations. Um, so now seeing, you know, everything in the in the full motion and everything, it's just, you know, it's like, you know, everything just kind of wakes up and breathes and comes alive in a way. Um, you know, it was always pretty, um, but now it's alive. Uh, and 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 it's it's really it's really neat to see this way. And I kind of, you know, expected that was going to be the case. And, you know, I think uh, I, I hope. Uh, I hope Rex is uh, is is feeling a, a little vindication because yeah. I think it really has turned out beautifully. Yeah, I I hope so too. And I think I think most people I've seen when I've played this or other people have been playing have, have said the same that it, it looks it feels a lot better when when they're playing it and it kind of makes sense in, in this world as well. Um, yeah, I think it's just I think it's just that, that that and it's not anybody. I think it's just that people were not the pieces were not all there yet. You yeah. Know? And, and and I think this is a particular the way this is done. It's it 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 needs that even more than than perhaps most most games would. It needs that motion. Uh, we got a question. By the way, if people want to sort of ask things, feel free to. Um, Casey asks. Uh, it's a slightly more childish, petty depiction of LeChuck, and Jess Harnell does that perfectly distinct from Earl Bowen. I wonder if Dominic tried to do anything differently for the character characterization of Guybrush. Good question. I think. Um. Very mild. I mean, yeah, a little bit maybe. Um, how to how to describe this? The first, I mean, I've got I've got to follow the script first of all, and, and they all do have a little slightly different flavor. You know, he's more wide-eyed in one. He's a little bit more of a jerk in two. You know, you get to like escape, and uh, and he's just kind of a smart ass. 
Um, and 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 this one is, you know, there's a little bit more maturity and wisdom mm. there. I mean, he's still he's still Guybrush, you know, he's only going to be so mature or wise. But um, but but you know, he's part of this part of this one is he's reaching, you know, he's getting comfortable with himself a little more. Um, so, but 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 on a very very subtle level, nothing nothing like a, you know a significant character change for him. Because I, I think you know people are at this point. I think it would be dangerous <laughs> to mess with uh, <laughs> to mess with Guybrush. Nor would I want to. You know, I mean that's that's him. It's like I can't. How how do you how do you change him? He just is. That would have been so, so, so funny. I'm okay, I'm, okay out, I'm okay bringing out other aspects, or maybe you know maybe emphasizing certain aspects of his personality more. Um, as 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 suits the particular game, but 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 no, he's he is who he is. Yeah. So so barring a future, barring a future story where there's some sort of drastic story happening and a you know major personality change, I don't I don't I don't see that changing a whole lot. That would be something. But yeah, certainly. I mean, uh, as you say, he's got a little bit of stubble now. He's he's got a you know yeah. a, one singular beard hair sort of sticking out. Yeah. <laughs> and on the bench, he's got a gray streak, and you know. It's, um, Showing his show age a little bit. <laughs> Bless it. Oh yeah, he's got his little little bags under the eyes. Bless him. Yeah, um, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Dave has got a good question as well. Just asking, um, saying I I haven't played all the games, so I don't know if Guybrush had a kid before. I don't think he yeah. did. Um, I, I, I if not, I I think you have kids. He's saying this to you, uh, Dominic. Uh, did you draw on that in your dialogue uh, with Kidbrush? Yes. 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 Tell us Absolutely. more. Absolutely. Oh, big time. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I, 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 I am confident that 12 years ago, I could have done a good job with the Guybrush bench scene, but it would not have been the same as it is now. You know, I mean, it, it, yeah, I mean, like, like I said, they, they uh, you know, they certainly weren't, uh, they certainly weren't writing this with me in mind, but they might as well have been, you know, I mean, it, it, it's, it, it, it's a little, little, little close to home. So, you know, <laughs> yeah. No, because I, you know, it, it, that, and that's exactly it. You know, you talk about you put yourself in that scenario and you draw on what you've got. And, you know, I, I I know that feeling of, you know, talking to your kid and trying to get through to them and get things across. And it's like, you know, that just that comes naturally now. So it certainly makes it easier. Well, that's very sweet. Um, in, in terms of uh, the other games, have they played any of the games or are they are you going to get them to play this one? Oh my yeah, my daughter's already. She's 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 crushing it so far. She's she's totally <laughs> loving it. In fact, in fact, on Monday night, uh, she absolutely insisted uh, on scurvy dogs for dinner. Oh. So I got her some sausages, and she sat there with a the knife and kind of carved them into a little, that little twisty shape, and then doused them in ketchup and put them on a stick for for dinner. So it was, it was adorable. <laughs> um, but uh, no, no, the kids. We we actually did uh, we did the first. We did like two and a half all together, kind of in the living room on the sofa a number of years ago and kind of lost steam a little bit. Um, but then my son has gone back recently to, to start playing them a little bit. And, and like I say, my, my daughter's just all in on, on return yet. I think uh, I think my son's waiting, holding off just a little bit. But, uh, you know, life and schoolwork and all that good stuff. But uh, but I'm yeah. sure he'll get there, too. So That's so sweet. Yeah. I'm guessing it was a hygienic version of, of Scurvy Talks, not the, not the version you see in the game. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Nice, nice, fresh, clean Kuroburta <laughs> Kuru sausages from the local Japanese restaurant. You know? Oh, yeah, exactly. lovely. Oh, of course. Yeah, we were ordering this... some Japanese food. Like, oh, she was like, we were ordering Japanese food, and she was like, but I want scurvy dogs. I'm like, well, they have Kuroburta sausages. Will that do? She's like, yep. I was like, okay, great. We're good. Oh, so. <laughs> um, that's very sweet. I thought I was going to say, I forgot, of course, you're a big foodie as well. So that, that kind yeah, of makes yeah, sense. <laughs> Um, right. I'm gonna have until, a... Actually, there was somebody was asking me if uh, if like they wrote some of the food stuff in here, um, you know, with me in mind. I don't think that's the case at all. I mean, Ron Ron's really big, uh, is really big on cooking. He loves cooking, so uh, I, I don't I don't want to speak too much, you know, for him. But uh, but I suspect a lot of that's uh, I have a hunch a lot of that's coming from Ron. Yeah. Okay. I was uh, that was something I was going to ask actually because yeah. it does it does seem I mean, like I, assume, I certainly enjoy it. But yeah. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. Uh, let me, I'm going to have a, a, a quick chat to, to Carla here. I guess when you were, um, it, well, I'm guessing this is the same as when, you, when you've been recording these things before, you didn't really get to have much uh, in the way of recording with other people. Were there any scenes you did get to record with people or was it all just standalone? Nope, nothing at all, zero. Yeah, which is, which is usually the case, that's yeah. typical. Yeah, uh, yeah. I remember uh, you saying that before. Uh, 
Yeah, that's no, that's normally how it is. And especially for this one, because, you know, I'm in Arizona and everybody else is in California pretty much. Yeah. So, you know, so, so even more so. Even if it weren't normally the case, I'm sure it would have been for this one. Yeah, that's fair enough. Right, I'm going to give Carla this frog. This is for you. Oh, uh, the forgiveness frog. You're giving me a frog? It's that a was not in the game when I played it back in March. Oh, was it not? Enough. You have so this is a new detail. to write anything personal on this I frog. think maybe... That's just rude. I'm trying to remember if it was on the shelf in the frog. voodoo shop. It might have been, but there was no puzzle. Right, okay, so it was literally you just gave the frog and... Uh... I'm gonna just put no the one voice. No one give it to her. I think it was just a. I think it was just an ob, just a random object. Right. Okay. Um, the puzzle didn't exist at all. Ah. Okay. I mean, I do like it as a as a. I'm guessing I've got to. Maybe because she she rejected my this frog though. You. Well, did you see why she rejected the frog? Let me see. There he is. You I love even, even the close up detail. It's brilliant. Personal I've got to write something frog. personal on it. Okay. That's just rude. Yeah. I reject your frog. Okay. Personalize your forgiveness frog. How dare it's just I? A blanket frog, a generic <laughs> frog. Sorry, I'm really sorry, Carla. Gosh, what are my manners? Um, Leontes. <laughs> Leontes says, "Forgiveness frog is my favorite gag in the game." I think, which I mean, I think the bar is high. So far, I've been enjoying all the humor. <laughs> like, it's a it's a very funny game. I love it. You know, one of the things that I love about this one, um, I mean, it's so clear. It, it, Dave's fingerprints are all over this one. Yeah. You know, I mean, it, it's one of the things that uh, that that Dave brings that I've always enjoyed in the games that he has a heavy hand in writing is that the humor is a little more smooth. And I mean, it's no less weird and wacky, but it's just it feels smoother. It feels a little more effortless, a little more, mm. a little more subtle. Like it's just it's just funny. It's not. You know, it's not reaching too hard for, you know, for the gag or the punchline or the, or, you know, or the big joke. And I just, it feels very, very confident. <laughs> uh, Max in the yeah, chat like says, um, does everyone record their lines at home or do you have to go somewhere with pro audio gear? Have you got a special monkey on in studio? <laughs> well, not a special monkey on Well, I know. I mean, I think there are, there are maybe some people who record at home. I think, yeah. I think I, three years ago, I would have said, no, nobody's recording a game like this at home. Um, today, it's possible. You know, I mean, there are a lot of people who, who went full remote for obvious reasons um, and, uh, you know, built up home studios and just started working like crazy. Generally, though, no. Generally, uh, like I say, unless this has changed a lot in the last two or three years and, and check with someone who's been more active more widely. Um, uh, no, you go into a studio over this. So for like, for me, you know, they found a local studio and, okay. and, uh, you know, set up the points with them and I just drive over to the studio and it's just me and the studio engineer and, uh, you know, they'd phone patch in, which is, you know, that's standard operating procedure for pretty much any remote voiceover. But, okay. um, but yeah, no, it's gotta be, it's gotta be good for this. And, and, and this is not something that is, you're going to be able to do with an average yeah. or even a nice home setup. Well, that's what you really know what you're doing, which yeah. some people do, some, <laughs> some, yeah. Some some voiceover folks are sound engineers too and can do it. Possibly. No, I'm I, not that person. Uh, fair enough. I mean, we you you've got so many other hats. <laughs> that, <laughs> I think that's fair enough. Not to have not to also be a sound engineer. I think that's fair enough. Well, thought about it once, but there's still time. Um, I'm. I, I, still I, time. Everyone wants me to say to whom it may concern. By the way, is that is should I go for that? Oh uh, well, that's I. I I don't know. Should we? Should we do? Should we? Should we? Should we do the? What was the old NPR thing? You know? Oh, I don't know. Do we make it turn or? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Okay. Oh, it's your car. Looks like a good start. option there. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I went for the wrong option. Uh, mainly just because I think chat knew it was going to be. Yeah, or dear Elaine. Like it's just there's just so many yeah. funny options you could go for. Um, Leonta says the best part about that is that these frogs seem to just be a well-established cultural thing that requires no explanation. Of course you give mm -hmm. a frog. Duh. Um, I got a whole drawer full of frogs over here. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Uh, sorry for blowing you up that one time. Sorry for blowing you up that one time. With fear and respect, Guybrush. With fear and yeah. respect, Guybrush. I think she's really going to love that. Um, Tom Basso says, Hi Dom, how was working with Chris Brown? I've been a fan of hers since the Broken Age doc. I guess Wonderful. I don't Finally. know how much work did you have, it. but yeah. 
Yeah. Well, because, uh, I mean, you know, she, she obviously was at uh, Lucas during all those old Monkey Island games, but she was, at the time, when I was doing the games, I believe she was heading up the sound department. So, you know, I was just actively working with the director. So, you know, they'd always talk about sending stuff back to Chris and whatever. But, uh, but no, I never, I'm not even sure if I, I don't think I even got to meet her until the first one session. And I, I still didn't get to meet her in person, but that'll happen someday. So, yeah, no, it was great. She's, she's, she is, she is just the best. She is just the best. And, and, and I, and I, I look forward to, it's funny because like, they were kind of just letting me go on this one for the most part, you know, occasionally like a little tweak here or there. Um, but, um, but, I, but, you know, I hope I get the chance to do something again where it's like, you know, a little more, a little more back and forth. I mean, this one's almost kind of, Guybrush is almost automatic at this point. So, yeah. So, uh, but, um, but no, she's, she's just the best. I love her to death. Um, David has also says, I think we touched on this before, but when getting started with recording the dialogue, cause I guess how long was it? How long was it? Be, uh, between you doing Guybrush before and and for this game, how how many years was it? Uh, well, the last one would have been I, I can't remember the, the second special edition. Uh, okay, MI2, yeah. and I think was that, was that 2010? I mean, it's been 12 years roughly. Yeah, about then. Ooh, I want to say 2010. Could it maybe maybe in 2009? But you know, right in that neighborhood, about 12 years. Yeah. So how was it really easy just to get back into it again? I mean, I'll be honest, Dominic, you yeah. do you do sound pretty much like I brush. <laughs> yeah, no, I, this 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 one is easy. Yeah, it, it, this one's totally second nature. Now the only difference is 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 I did realize you know I played I played a little bit of Curse and it had been a while since I played Curse and that was you know the first one I did and I was when we started recording that I know when I got the part I was nineteen I think I might have just turned twenty when Whoa, we started recording. Okay. And, uh, yeah, so so I was listening to that, and I was like, I don't think I can even do that anymore. I mean, it's the same character, obviously, but but it's just really clean and young, and I don't think I, I don't think I have that in me anymore. So I mean, it works out nicely that uh, you know Guybrush is a little a little older and wizened here. You know, it just it, it, it paces it paces all of our natural progressions, so it works out <laughs> nicely that way. Um, but you know, I, it's it's not that big of a deal. Like, someone else was asking about this recently, and I think it's probably not that big of a deal because no. you know as with all voiceover the character is more important than the voice i mean the voice is important yes but at the end of the day if it's guybrush he's gonna come across as guybrush you know if his voice sounds a tiny bit older no one's gonna no one's gonna freak out about that so um i like but no, but getting back into it like first line bam we're in i was gonna yeah. say like it's it must i mean that must be pretty good though as a, as a voice actor to, to have that just on tap like just be able to go well, jump into it like I say, I, I I don't know that this rule would apply to anybody else. I mean, you know, it's been so long since I, you know, did a, a range of character work that uh, that uh, you know I don't know what it'd be like if I tried to pick up something else that I did 20 years ago. But uh, but uh, but 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 Guybrush is Guybrush, and he is the exception to all rules. So. Um, Leontes in the chat. I will I will try and get through some what some people have been saying. Hey, Dominic. When will you publish your food review of purple redacted with hot redacted on top? I'd like to know how it tastes. <laughs> well, someone's going to need to give me a recipe first. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you have some idea. But I'm not, uh, I'm not, uh, I'm not finally, uh, I'm not finally schooled in uh, redacted cuisine. So, okay. Uh, shame. So, yeah. I know, I know. It's a shame. I actually haven't even gotten back, I haven't even gotten to that through my, my second playthrough yet, so. So we'll see. I will be I will be keeping a very close eye on the uh, food elements on this playthrough. I bet you will. I mean, it's like you said. Nice interception of my interests. Would you ever think of making like a Monkey Island cookbook or something? It's surely it's like your two loves combined. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Probably not. I, you know, it's a lot of work. Yeah. Cookbooks are a lot of work. You're like, I don't need to do this yeah. extra thing. Why would I do that? <laughs> yeah. Although interestingly, interestingly, uh, 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 Jen Sandercock, who is the uh, uh, the producer, um, she has a, uh, a gaming food cookbook. Um, oh, okay. She did the yeah, Kickstarter, and it's uh, it's uh, it's all uh, it's not gaming themed. It's food. It's games where all of the pieces and stuff and all that are actual food, and oh. uh, in for most of them, I believe consuming the food is a part of the gameplay. So oh, that's really cool. So, yeah, it's pretty neat. So probably some of that's sneaking its way into the game as well. Interesting. We're a food literate crowd, apparently. Yes, clearly. I thought it was just you, but no, clearly you're all into it. And why no, not? No, no, it's not just me. It's not just me. No, no, no. <laughs> right, I've got to give I'm Carla. I'm on many levels. Yeah. 
Um, oh, one thing I'd, I was uh, interested in knowing, were you guys in, in touch on Monday, on the on the launch day? Did you, were you like sort of talking to each other or was it very much just, you know, just seeing what was what was out there? Well, I, I'm not, I mean, you know, the, 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 yeah, and you know, I'm kind of, I'm kind of tangential to the team. Yeah. You know, you got to remember, I, th I think people really, I think from the outside, it kind of looks like, you know, yeah. I'm, I'm right in the huddle. Um, and, and, and again, they were so tremendously kind to involve me as much as they have and, and invited me to all the team and stuff that happened uh, at PAX and all that. And, and it was just wonderful to be around everybody. Yeah. Um, um, but, but, you know, I'm not like on the, 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 the team slack or anything like that. Uh, you know, I mean, I traded a few. I've traded a few texts, you know, with a couple of people who I've been in closer touch with. Yeah. And, you know, and, uh, but, but I also, you know, some of them are also kind of, you know, everyone has their, everyone has their own ways of dealing with, uh, with the, uh, release day stress. What did you do? You know? What did you do on release day? And hello, by the way, Sean oh, Moore, who's just come in with some raiders. Hello. Hello. Uh, I, I was in on this one because, um, you know, for, for, for me, it's not the same for previous ones. I mean, like I was super nervous about uh, Curse in that first launch. That one, I was really on pins and needles for that one. Okay. So. Um, but for this one, I did totally serene. And, and it's because, you know, I got to play it through in March. And, and again, you know, I sort of inhabit these weird brackish waters kind of halfway between team and fan, you know? And, uh, and, and I played it in March and I was just like, there is, there is no way, there is no way that people aren't going to love this. No, yeah. it's just not possible. So, so <laughs> I, I, I just, I was not even the least bit concerned. So I was, I, I was taking it all in. I like blocked out the whole day and I'm just going to sit down in front of the computer and, you know, be on Twitter and watch the reviews roll in and all that kind of you stuff. You were just I there like, to, ah, like I basket. wanted to be, I want to be bathing in it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And it was fun because I, I knew it was going to be good and it was, and I wanted to be right in the middle of it. Cause you know, who knows, who knows if we'll ever get to do this again. So I wanted to, be right in the middle of it and not miss a thing um but you know but there are there are some there are some team members who i know you know kind of were like ah i'm going dark for a couple of days <laughs> just gonna completely tune out and pretend nothing's happening and you know it's like it's like anything else we all we all have our ways of uh of uh, of, of of handling the stress so yeah or the it's, lack of stress is the case maybe in this so, one so you were just kind of what sitting at your computer just like yeah man just checking Basically, it all out i was Sitting where I am right now in front of my laptop doing, yeah, yeah, it's just Twitter all day long, reading reviews, reading articles, yeah, you know, some texting back and forth with, like I said, the few people who I'm in closer touch with. Yeah. Uh, so, no, it's just, and just, just trying to, just like, trying to have fun with it, just trying to enjoy it as much as possible. You know, um, I, every, every, every time one of these comes around, it's yeah. like just a huge gift and, and I don't want to waste a moment on it, so... Casey has said, is there any food or drink across any of the Monkey Island games which Dominic would willingly eat? As you say that, I'll write my apology to Carla, but I'll let you just have a little think right. of that hey. one. Sorry for blowing you up that one time. Actually, there's a whole bunch in this one, but we're not going to get into that right now. Well, if it's not um, too, if it's just food, if it's not part of a major plot point, I think it's okay to I'm mention. Trying to think. No, 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 I'm trying to think. No, there's, there's some, there's some, there's some, there's some fish that sounds great to me, but, uh, uh, you know, it's kind of funny that I remember there, I wish I could remember now. I'm going to try to remember it, but there, there has been, I feel like there has been at least once, maybe twice within the series where there was like a, like an, ew, why would you eat that sort of thing? I'm like, that looks fine to me. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I basically eat everything. Um, and I, I can't, I can't put my finger on what it is. Hopefully it'll come to me, but, um, but I feel like it totally has. I mean, the scurvy dogs look great, minus the hair and the flies. Minus you know, the I'm hair pretty... and the flies, yeah. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not quite that into it, you know, the <laughs> grunge factor. But, uh, but you know, that aside. Okay, which should I say chicken here? Fries. Chicken foot fries, I'm into that. I'll eat the chicken mm. feet. That works for me. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> I wasn't yeah, expecting not? that. Chicken feet, chicken feet are good. I know. Yeah, yeah no, fair enough. That, there you go, Casey. Maybe not, I don't know about fried. I don't know if I've ever had fried chicken feet. I've had my fair share of chicken feet. I don't know if I've had them fried or not. I didn't expect that, that to be the thing you said, but fair enough. Fair play. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, Hong, Kong, Hong Kong style dim sum? You kidding me? You got to have your got to have your chicken feet. Okay, there you go. That's, a, that's Friday night round Dominic, some chicken feet. I'm going to say here... <laughs> You're really nicer than people yeah, say you are. Really nice I think that's that's definitely going to be. My I think we've at least we've addressed it to Carla ah, this time ah, round. Ah. Um, you scare the heck out of me. Scare the heck out. I think she'd like that. Great, <laughs> we've written it on the frog. Let's see what she says this time. Um, 
we, we at least addressed it to Carla this time, so that's something. <laughs> uh, Dear Carla. Hmm. Let's see. What's this about blowing me up? <laughs> I don't remember it quite like that. Anyway, I don't know why you're apologizing. Okay, we, we, sure maybe we've got to do a bit more. I reject your frog. Just reject the frog. Um, talking about kind of relationships in, in the game, um, we've got a good question here from, um, I think, TM3... T1C uh, uh, saying Elaine's been different in every game wonder what Dom thinks of Elaine and Guybrush's relationship because uh, one thing I've already seen in this one is they're quite cute with each other at least at the beginning there was that fun bit of dialogue when they're like no you say goodbye no you, you say, say goodbye, goodbye. <laughs> which I thought was quite yeah, sweet I, 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 I chose to I chose to maybe I don't know if it came across or not, but I chose to do that as partially self-aware. Like, yes, we know this is ridiculous. It's kind of playing it out anyway, you know. Yeah. Um. Yeah, 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 there's 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 much more with Guybrush and Elaine and Elaine later on. I, you know, it's it is, it is always a little different. Yeah, isn't it? Their 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 relationship is in different stages and maybe a little less rocky, a little more lovey, depending on uh, depending on the situation. Um. I don't know. I mean, that's one of those. That's one of those. That's one of those variables, I guess. You know, whatever suits the story of the day. And it um, kind of must be difficult because obviously you aren't doing this with somebody, but you uh, you did make it, it, it. I mean, obviously this is kind of textbook voice acting, but you know it oh, does. Yeah. It makes it. You know, it sounds very much like you are a couple that been together for ages. Oh yeah, and it was and it was recorded. You know, halfway around the world and probably two months apart. So that's that's you know that's how it goes. But that's you know that's that's one of the things you just have to do. You just have to put yourself there. And uh, you know, I don't I don't I don't know if Alexandra had a chance to hear my lines uh, to play off of. I I didn't mm. have a chance to hear her because I was the first to record. Um, but it's possible. Where are you? It's possible. I'm sorry. I was just going to say, oh, you, so you were the first to record. Is that just because you had so much to say, or? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I just know that the way they scheduled it, I know that I was the first one in the studio. Right. Okay. And I got the impression. I'm not sure. You'd have to ask them, but I got the impression that we were most of the way through my dialogue when they started doing some of the other stuff. I got you. Okay. Um, uh, For whatever reason. A question here. Have you ever dressed up? I like this. This is just out of the blue, but have you ever dressed up as Guybrush for Halloween? <laughs> it's coming round. No, no, I have not. <laughs> I, don't, I don't. There's no one who is going to mistake me for Guybrush Street, but under any circumstances, if there's a visual component involved. So I, uh, I, I might. It has been suggested that I might be able to pull off LeChuck pretty well, but uh, but Ooh. maybe not so much Guybrush. Actually, I was, I was thinking that'd make that'd be a hilarious cosplay. I should do at some point. I should like dress up like LeChuck, but talk like Guybrush. And <laughs> totally fit everybody. That'd be a very kind of weird voodoo thing, but yeah, guy brushing yeah, exactly. the Chuck's body or something. I could yeah, see that like, working. Yeah, it'd, like, it'd be like a cheesy, like a, like the cheesy '80s body swapping version of uh, of guy brushing the Chuck. You know, they both stick their hand in the magical fountain, and suddenly guy brushes in the Chuck's body, and the Chuck is in guy brushes body, and hijinks ensue, and they spend the rest of the game trying to uh, switch back. <laughs> We've basically just come up with the next edition of uh, Monkey Island. There, there you go, Ron. Make it happen. My first writing credit. <laughs> Um, yeah, thank you for everyone who's um, entered the chat and come in and has uh, been giving loads of uh, loads of uh, chat and questions. Appreciate that. Um, yeah, we, they, we're we not going to spoil anything. I, I kind of want to say that this, this, this won't be spoilers, but I think people will want to know, uh, people who have finished it, um, your thoughts on the ending in terms of were you, were you happy with how it ended? Obviously, I don't even know how it ended at this point, but I ju I'm just interested to know, yeah. did you come away thinking, that's it, they've done gonna, it, or what were, what were your I'm thoughts? Gonna be, I'm going to be super, yeah. super vague. That's, fine. that's I, fine. I am not, generally speaking, I am not the type that feels anything, like in a game like this, has to be done any specific way. You know, I think there are a lot of ways they could have chosen to wrap things up, and Sorry. I am aware of some of the contenders, um, and I think everything that I'm aware of, all of them would have been interesting and different in their own ways. Tough and what I like about what they chose, and I'm gonna be, I'm gonna tiptoe around this very carefully. I'm sorry, I've given is, this this quite difficult, but yeah. No, no, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. It's um, I like. I am someone who, oof, boy, this is dangerous. I'm, oh. trying to, I'm trying to say if I can say this or not. I better, I better, you know, I better hold on. Oh, I better no, hold on. I'll just on. say, yeah. I feel like it's a little, I will say, 
I, I have I, if if you if you would like to hear my very highly detailed specific yeah. thoughts on it, I've I've been hanging out with the guys at the Mojo Forum. So yes. So there's a lot of back and forth there, and 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 we've been writing a lot back and forth. So so if you if you you don't mind spoiling yourself completely, no, that's that. fine. But I just I, I like that it's I like that it's a thinker ending. You know, I like that it is that it is designed to to not be simple and and too traditional and too pat and too easy. Um, I think it is it is nice that they respected their audience enough to give them something to chew on. If that makes any sense. I mean, at the also, moment for me, it doesn't. It's also doesn't... <laughs> a right? It's also a tearjerker too. So there's that. You know. Oh. Okay, I've got that to look forward to. Um, that's a point, actually. Were there bits where you got emotional? Um... Oh my gosh! Already, yeah. Yeah. Already. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're tearing that, up now. That, 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 the first, that first scene on the bench. Yeah. Oh, I'm like oh, that was the that was that was when I tweeted about it. I was like, oh no, here we go. Oh. <laughs> it's like oh boy. <laughs> yeah. No, it's really it's it's so I I I just love how they do this. It's it's how. How often is it that you get to enjoy a story that eh, as you get deeper into it, you'll see, you know, how, how often is it that you get to enjoy a story that you've lived with for so long and that is written with such finesse mm. and, and, and so much, you know, there's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of life truth packed into this. And I know, you know, as, as with Monkey Island, there, it's always... You know, it's always goofy and silly and fun. Yeah. With some, with some, you know, with some slightly more serious undertones. Um, but those undertones, what I love about this one is those undertones really, really come up to the surface. You okay. know, and it really becomes, it really becomes just as much, if not more so, about all those themes that run through this game. Um, which, you know, I mean, it makes sense, you know, the, the guys who are writing it, they're, you know, they're older and they're wiser and they've been around the block a few times now. And, you know, that's, it's, it's a very, it, it's a, it's a, it's a much more mature piece. You know what I mean? And I, I appreciate that and I enjoy that. And, and, and when you're someone who's lived with it your whole life, it's, it, it's, it'll get you, <laughs> you know? Ooh, okay. I look forward so. to that. Uh, I look forward to crying. <laughs> um good good i'm glad to hear i mean i got emotional just when it 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 went to the scene like the interest the scene of of Mele island and saying deep in the caribbean yeah. and the and the music came up again i was like oh mm -hmm. it's back yep yep right and it's and it's and it's so nice because it's it, you know they they hit that balance too of you know the nostalgia factor is there the familiarity is there but it's also clear that you know eh, things are not the same things have changed you know it's Back not, of the uh, net. not quite what it used to be you know like you say it's a little little run down a lot of boarded up shops you know it's uh, yeah. but but it's still but it still trips those sensors of i know this place i've been here you know i i uh, uh, this is familiar to me so so it's it's really i think they really struck a nice balance with it which I guess that's kind of what we were talking about as well with you for the, for the voice acting. That must have been kind of tricky. Maybe maybe it wasn't um, sort of riding that balance of you know being this guy that everyone remembers, but uh, you know still wanting to put your own spin on it. But I guess like you said, you you pretty much kept it as people yeah. Remember. Well, I mean, maybe. two things make it easy. First yeah. is that guy brushes progression in this is very much a classical progression you know yeah. i mean yeah i mean I, you know many of the things he's thinking about and dealing with are the same things that i do yeah you know yeah, just yeah. as a human being who is you know lived the, the length of time in the world yeah um you know that's always relatable but especially so here and, and you'll like i say you'll see more it, it's it, it's close to home some of it um but the other thing too and it's one of those actor cliches but it is so absolutely true is, you know, there's some writers who just make it easy, you know? I mean, when it's well-written, it's like, you don't even, you don't even have to work that hard. You know, yeah. when it's right there on the page, you just have to do it. You know, I mean, the hard ones are the ones where you don't have a very good script to work with and you've got to, you know, work with that and meld it and try to make something good out of it. Um, but, you know, with a script like this, it's like, it's it's all right there. I just, it's more a matter of not screwing it up than it is okay. making sure. <laughs> You get it right you know what i mean it's like this is great i just need to i just need to take this and filter it through guybrush and not screw it up so i think you you've managed to do that adequately well, thank you. <laughs> uh, a great question in the chat from uh wannabe mary sue and i uh, know i won't keep you too much longer because i know you you 
do you have to head off in a oh, yeah. sort of time? Oh, yeah, 10 minute warning. I got yeah. 10 Don't worry, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Great question in the chat. Wanna be Mary Sue who says, Has Dom heard much from any new players and Monkey Island newcomers? Because I guess this is the thing. This will be, obviously, there's loads of people who will have played yeah. um, the originals and be really excited about this, but it's it's been enough time that there'll be like new generations who have heard yeah. about this, not played the others, and, and just. What want to get into it? And I, I, what was that I kind of a? Heard, I've not heard much from brand new fans yet, but I wouldn't expect to yet. I would no. expect that to be like in the coming weeks and months. I'm hoping yeah. to see some of that. You know, there are some in, in this whole series, and it's not it's not a value judgment. It's just by virtue of the way they're designed. You know, there are some games in the series that are that, that make more comfortable entry points than others. You know, I mean, I'd say it's basically, there are a few rare exceptions, but it's almost split down the middle between people who came in with the original and people who came in at Curse. Curse was another one that yeah. was a huge entry point. You know, that was that was a game that, uh, so if it, to you know borrow some political terminology, that was a game that expanded the base. You know what oh. I mean? <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, and and but I but I look at this one and and we'll see. You know, it's always when you're in the bubble, it's really really hard to tell. But but my gut instinct about this one is that this is one that could also do the same. This is one that could expand the base in a way that, in the way that Curse did. I think it's it's welcoming enough and it's accessible enough that uh, that that you know as word of mouth starts to get around, hopefully it'll hopefully it'll b bring some folks in and they won't be afraid. It's it's always hard. How do you jump into the sixth game in a series? You know, yeah. I mean, that's an intimidating thing. I have that problem with other games. You know, it's like ah, oh, do I want to do this? I got to start at the beginning. Um, but I think I, I think this one is set up where that if people do make that jump, um, it's the they're going to enjoy it enough that it's like okay, great. Now hey, I got this whole catalog to go back to. So so we'll see we'll see we'll see what happens. I'm I am I'm optimistic that uh, that this will that'll start to reach some people who who weren't involved before. Yeah, I'm sure I'm uh, it's bound to. I'm pretty sure it's bound to. I mean, I actually came in. I think I've told you this before, but I came in with Escape. Um, yeah, you're you're one of the you're you're one of the unicorns. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, I don't think there, many there, people... there aren't many of you, but I have met some of them. Yeah, <laughs> it's only because that was uh, it was just because of my age. I was ten, and it just came out, and yeah. I thought that I just liked yep. the look of it. Um, yeah. uh, but yes, it was, and I I do think looking back, I was like half the thing. I must have been like, what is going on in this game? I don't understand, but I enjoyed it enough to play the others. So clearly, it, it somehow yeah. worked. In, in some ways, I would not have named Escape as one of the more <laughs> uh, newbie friendly. No. Uh, uh, editions of Monkey Island. On the other hand, I don't know. That one was also very, you know, that one was very jokey too. So you know, in in that very you know punchline kind of sense. So maybe in that way, it uh, it made it uh, more accessible too. So with a lot a lot of contemporary references. So maybe in that sense, I can see how it might make it a little easier for for somebody who's just jumping in. Yeah, I get clearly something somehow it worked. I I don't know how, but yeah, there you go. I mean, yeah. I I do remember as well playing curse and being really excited about the barbershop quartet i know we've spoken about this before mm -hmm. um and you record you that was one of the few things you recorded with pe other people that's right uh, am i right in i think saying? that might have been the only session i recorded with other people yeah. i think it i, I know I, I have these vague memories like did i do a cutscene with somebody at some point it's possible but i don't i don't think so i think it was just the pirate song i think that was the only thing that we recorded together and that was that was just a blast. That was so much fun. That was a fun day. <laughs> uh, right, it's let me a get wild this frog. I was the only singer of the four, so oh. it was an interesting day. Oh. None of the other guys were singers. Oh really? <laughs> which, which which ended up playing pretty well, I think. But getting there took a little getting. <laughs> That's uh, uh, how many takes then, roughly, for that then, or was it? Oh, oh, it was, no, we, it was it was a it was a full it was a full. I think it was probably a four-hour session. <laughs> I just for that song. Session, no. I don't think we did a full session. What's that? I was just going to say, just for that song, but they don't even change oh, yeah. the... <laughs> the they, it's just the it same. May, it may have been a half session. It could have been okay. a half session, a two-hour <laughs> half session. I, I don't remember. It's been a long time. But it was it was, it was, was funny. I mean, I know I kind of I kind of helped out too because, uh, you know, Dar, the voice director, you know, was very experienced with voice directing, but he didn't have a musical background at all. So so at some point, it was like, I was like, why do I help out a little bit? He's like, dude, go for it. So, you know, <laughs> He's so like, then I kinda, just do it, please. In a little bit. Yeah, because I'd, I'd been a singer my whole life. And, and, and at that, I mean, you know, all, all 19 years of it at that point, whatever. Um, but uh, um, but yeah, so 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 Dar was kind of handling the voice and I was kind of handling the musical stuff. And we were kind of coming together to, to pull it together. It was fun. It was a fun day. <laughs> and, they were, it was, and it was so it was just hilarious because. 
Yeah, it, that was a that was a that was a ragtag bunch to uh, to sing a song, but but like I say, in the end, it it, it works because of that. You know, they are they are clearly not musicians, and yeah. they did not have to take that. So. <laughs> I didn't realize that I that it took that long, but that was really funny. Um, we got a question in the chat. Uh, we'll, we'll probably do if anyone wants to put a question. I think we'll, we'll probably close it off in like two minutes or so, two or three minutes. So get it in now. But um, Rin says, "Can I ask Dominic which Monkey Island is his favorite?" I know this is like uh, choose having to choose your children, so you probably don't have an answer for this. I don't know. The only thing I would say is that the only thing I would say is the curse holds a special place in my heart because it was the first. That was that or the first one that I worked on. That was yeah. my. That was where I joined the series, but but that's in no way um, an objective, you know. I I mean even you know even the the, the, the dining critic in me you would think that you know Sorry that that's like my person. thing you know but I'm 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 very much not that I, I'm I'm not someone who I, I hate I hate rankings I hate having to pick yeah. the best of stuff even though I've had to do it professionally it's like I'm less I'm less interested in that I'm more interested in thinking about and talking about what makes all these different things cool and interesting and unique and special in their own way. That means, that means way, and this is not just Monkey Island, but across the board, that, that means way more to me than, than identifying, you know, which one is the best or whatever. No, I think that's fair enough, really. And I, I guess for you, like you said, they sort of hold different experiences each time, different memories. And so it's kind of all lovable. Yeah. Not, yeah. I think that that's even, fair enough. even if that question were not a minefield for me to answer, it is. It is, <laughs> it is even if it were not, it is against my DNA yeah. to, uh, to, to 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 get into that. So that's. I think that's fair enough. Uh, um, yeah. I love this question from Adravat saying, "How does it feel to be the voice of a generation?" Voice of a generation. I don't know. That's uh, that's a little <laughs> heavy there. I, I'm the voice of a generation. I don't know. <laughs> which which generation though? <laughs> you know? That's a good point, I mean, actually. I mean, we've done these games for for I, I've all. been doing these games for twenty five years now. So which which generation are we talking about? All generations, past all and generations. Future. Sure, no more pressure. That's that's <laughs> fine. Uh, yeah, we're just basically sort of fangirling and fanboying now. Um, oh, that's fine. <laughs> right, I will. I will let you head off now. I was yeah. I think a, just a question. What are you yeah, doing more, now? More. This has all come out now. So, what what are the plans? What are you up to? Well, I, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm still gonna soak in this world. I mean, I'm sure there's gonna be, you know, a bunch of interviews and stuff on the tail end as people get into it and digest it and all that sort of thing. Um, and then, uh, and then next month, Lucy Dreaming is releasing. They, uh, yes. uh, Tall Story Games. They, uh, they I, I, should, I have just a small role in that. But and it's funny actually because they asked me to come do that before I even learned about Monkey Island. Really? Um, so that was kind of funny. Yeah, that was kind of funny. So that's coming up. Um, and I just, you know, I'm taking care of my family and doing the thing I've been doing here. And, and I, I'm, I'm maybe playing around with putting together a demo and maybe trying to get back into it. We'll see. It's been, it's been so long. I, you know, I never meant to leave voiceover. I just kind of, you know, life happens and, uh, I miss it. I'd like to, I'd like to, I'd like to get back. So if I can get my stuff together, then, you know, maybe in a month or so it'll be like, Hey, here's my demo. Okay. Hi. I mean. Game, we'll see. Fingers crossed. Game developers I'm in chat. Here. I'm not hard to get a hold of, so. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, a little, maybe maybe a little slow to respond, but but I'm not I'm not hard to find. And maybe maybe hard to grab my attention at the moment, but I'm not hard to find. So. Game developers in chat. There you go. That you're gonna be flooded now with people trying to get you in the game, Dominic. No, I, the, 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 I try to tell them all, I would love to do it. It's, it's got to be a SAG after thing. I'm a union guy. It's got to be SAG yeah. after. You can do that. You can do that. Then I'm in. So. There you go. All right. I really got to run. I do have to run. Thank yeah, you so much. Sorry. Thank no, no, longer. that's fine. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you being on. Thank you, everybody. Uh, great game. Cheers. All right. Thanks. Take Bye. it easy. Bye.